Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of Rothy's newest style, which is the merino wool. I just got the box in the mail today. This is what the box looks like. I have not opened these yet. And just so you guys know, I got the Chelsea, which is also, I just got another one of just the plain black in the traditional Rothy's fabric. And then this one is obviously the one in the Merino and this is color Camel in case anyone is interested. Um, to be honest, I was kind of surprised when Rothy's announced this newest style because so much of their branding is all around like sustainable vegan products and using like recycled plastic and all of that stuff. So I was pretty surprised that they did release something that had wool in it because obviously that's an animal product and a lot of people who really stand um, by their messaging are kind of mad about it. And I kind of felt a little bit of that way myself. I was a little taken aback that they did make a wool product. That being said, I do wear wool um, personally. So I did decide to get myself some of these, but yeah, I was a little bit surprised about that. So now the first difference that I noticed is just the color of the box. Normally Rothy's boxes are like, um, just like a, a white, like a light gray color. And this is obviously dark gray. So that's the first difference. And these ones were $175, which is I, I believe $30 more expensive than the just the regular Chelsea's. So, but if you do want to use my referral code for these, you can get $20 off. Um, so that would make them $155. Okay, so the box looks a little bit fancier than normal. It says like merino on the top. Um, it also comes with this bag, which I've never actually, I've never seen them do this before, um, have like a dust bag like that. So that's pretty nice. It has this blue ribbon. Okay, and here's what it looks like in the box. Here is how they compare to the the plastic material. To be honest, I was imagining these to be a lot softer. Like the material, it's it's definitely softer um, than the traditional Rothy's material, but it's not like over the top plush or anything like that. It just feels a little bit more like regular fabric than this. But the thing to keep in mind is that this is not like 100% wool. It's it's a kind of 50-50 mix of the merino wool plus um, like the plastic normal Rothy's material. Just keep that in mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wear these all day to work tomorrow. And then after work tomorrow, I'm going to hop back on here and just give you guys an update of how these compare feeling wise, like how comfortable they are compared to Rothy's. Um, I have a lot of Rothy's and I wear them pretty much every day to work. So I have a very good sense of what the traditional fabric feels like. And so hopefully I will be able to give you a pretty good comparison of how these compare to the regular Rothy's material. So just stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. It is the next day and I have worn these shoes for a full day. So I just want to tell you a quick summary of my experience. Overall, I I really like them. I feel like the material is pretty soft, but it definitely didn't blow my mind or anything um, compared to regular Rothy's. I would say on a scale of one to 10 with one being like sandpaper and 10 being like a super soft plush blanket or something. I would say regular Rockies are probably about a five on the softness scale. And I think these Merino um, ones are probably like a six. So they're a little bit softer. Um, it's a little bit more of like a flexible material, I guess is the best way to put it. But they're, they definitely don't compare to like Allbirds or 100% wool shoes. So if you have those and you are thinking that these are gonna be like that, you might be disappointed. Um, that being said, I do think they are one step up in terms of softness and just kind of being a little bit more flexible, kind of lightweight material almost than traditional Rothy's. So if that's what you're going for, then you may want to 
give these a try. And if you have them and you like them, don't like them, let me know down in the comments. And as I mentioned before, I do have my referral code. So feel free to use that if you like. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.